The allegations against Peter Bone, against uh, Mr Bone, are astonishing. And the BBC have recorded the voice of the person who is making the allegations very clearly. Um, and the independent Parliament's behaviour watchdog, the independent expert panel, has upheld the five allegations of bullying uh, that uh, involve... I, I, I think mostly it's all about verbally belittling this assistant, physically striking him, throwing things at him, and then the extraordinary story of flashing uh, and um, exposing himself. Quite, quite, quite bizarre. The Conservative Party has withdrawn the whip. Almost certain it's going to end up with a... With, with yet another by-election. This is a... Uh, th th this is a saga of um, s scurrilous, uh, a, a failing of duty, a failing of character, a failing of um, kindness, and, uh, and 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 a failing of sense, moral sense, practical sense, political sense. And it seems like a disease running through the party. Well, why are we surprised about that? It's, um, it's a failure of backbone. And instead, we've got people posturing and trying to pretend to be tough when, in fact, they're pushovers, trying to pretend to do something that they don't naturally do. People like Suella Brabman, who I'm sure in real life is an absolute darling. In public life, she's a menace. It's like... Uh, it, 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 it's like a cabbage trying to behave uh, as um, as a guard dog. Oh, sorry, that's Theresa May. But it is, yes, it's like it's like um, being savaged by the vegetable patch. And Peter Bone, the real character, seems to come out. Some, you can't suppress it in the end. The real character comes out. This nastiness, this predatoriness, this ache to be unpleasant. Let's listen to what the fellow's got to say. Peter's behaviour was erratic. His temper was often explosive. I described it as like a, like a pendulum. He would go from one type of kind of personality to another. It was very hard to predict. And that kind of left me feeling quite under siege, like a, what do they call it, kind of siege mentality in terms of the relentless shouting, the screaming, the hitting, the, yeah, the physical, emotional, psychological abuse, as well as what happened later, was just constantly on my mind. It was relentless to 